In this video, we're going to show you the, the various options of creating a new project in Studio 7. Going through the various options in the standard new project dialog, also talking through ASF3 projects and the create new ASF example project, and then looking at ASF4 and start projects, which is also possible in Atmel Studio. Note that the code that start generates for SAM is ASF4, and so that is distinct from what we see in ASF3. The standard new project dialog comes up as such and we can see that there is a standard C executable project and a C++ executable project. Then you get a C static library and a C++ static library. The C executable or C++ is probably the most common project type that you will use for a bare metal project. A static library, you create pre-compiled libraries to link to other projects. And this tends to be to use same functionality or to share a kind of core company IP across various products. So for example, Atmel uses this static library for our peripheral touch controller, one of the more unique peripherals that we have for touch applications with buttons, sliders and wheels. So the touch library itself, which configures sensors, adjacent key expression, noise handling, um, gain and filter levels, etc., which you all configure uh, in a touch application, that gets compiled as a static library project as a .a file and then linked into the project. So the create project from Arduino sketch is going to be covered in the next video. Basically, it creates an Atmel Studio project from Arduino sketch files, and there are two projects, a sketch and Arduino core. The other options, new example project, this here relates to ASF3, and you can see that it's 3.34, so it's ASF3. There's quite a range of examples that you have here by different technology categories, etc. And if you create a new project with an ASF board, this basically is a board support package of ASF3. The Focus more is on start at the moment, and you can see you can create a new Atmel start project or a new start example project. And here you can filter on hardware requirements, as well as searching for software, which includes both drivers and middleware. The other option was the start example project. Here, again, filtering by boards or categories with an open search. If you're not sure what either of them does, you can just click the user guide and get an overview of what happens in, in some of these. These getting started projects are um, a bit of a special category. Those tend to be linked with training materials, etc. So if we select a basic application, As I said, for bare metal projects, we're probably just going to use a C executable. And then after selecting project, you get to select a device that you're interested in. You can select by family. And uh, if we want the 817, we create a project as follows. Thank you.